The first thing you need to do is be safe. Disconnect the appliance or turn off the breaker to avoid electric shock. Hello guys, welcome to DIY Repair Now. Today we're going to be working on this Frigidaire top and bottom refrigerator. The model number is on the display. And the first thing you need to do is disconnect the appliance to avoid electric shock. And the problem that we have is there is only cooling in here and over here is warm. Now when we open the freezer door, we can hear the freon noise, but we don't, we don't hear any fan noise. Most likely this fan needs to be replaced. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this clamp. And we're gonna go ahead and pull this, this side to release these two ends, raise it up, and it will come right out. Next thing we're gonna grab a drill or a screwdriver. You can get one of these screwdrivers, bring some Philip, flat head, one quarter, one quarter screws. I don't need to use this because I have, and then it brings a bigger uh, Philip number two, a flat head number two, and a 516. If you want one of these screwdrivers, you can go to a link on the description of this video. And now we're gonna go ahead and use a one quarter because we have a drill. If you don't have, if you have a drill, you can buy one of these um, tips, one of these uh, drill bits, one quarter. Release here. Release here. Here, I mean, we don't hear the fan. So, you, I don't know if you can see there, but I'm trying to spray it with my hand and it's not working. So, we're gonna check if we have voltage here. If we got voltage going to the fan, I have this multimeter, but if you don't own one, you can find one in the description of this video. You just have to put it on um, AC or in this case my sets VAC the ones I got on the uh, description of this video you just have to put it in that setting and then we're gonna check the voltage put it right there and as you see we are getting voltage so that means this fan needs to be replaced now we're gonna go ahead and release this panel and this whole panel come right out okay here we have our fan motor that's the model number right there, the part number for the fan motor right there Make some space to work in here. And we're gonna go ahead and release this harness. For some reason, they want us to chip this fan motor back to improve, to improve their service, they said. So over here, we're gonna twist this this has like a press and release. You're probably gonna have to use a screwdriver. Press it, and then it will move to the side. Press it, and it will move to the side. After we release this, put this to the side, and we're gonna release the um, fan plate this is the easy way to do it now the same way remember this washer 
goes in the other side so make sure you put this back in the tip now if you want to make sure you put in the blade in the right way you just gotta release this I don't want to go through all that so I'm just gonna go ahead and work it this way go ahead and secure it in place Now we want to make sure we put we gonna push it and release the top, push it in, it will come up and now. going to put this in this direction this is like a clamp just put them to the side put them to the side and this will come right out and now we could put our fan blade into a stops. And we got it the right way. Remember, I told you we have to release this part first. So we're gonna put it in here and then it's going down into this one in place. Now it's your choice if you want to put these things back again but I want to do it right so just got to do that put this one back in here and then you just do a twist to the side and that is secure we're pretty much done here this is our old Fan. They gotta go back in this box. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and put it back in place. Make sure you put this piece in the hole right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and work away. Oh, don't forget to plug in a brand new fan and then. Now, I want you guys to turn off the refrigerator while you do this repair. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because I work in this every day. But you can see, we can hear and see the fan spinning the way it's supposed to. setting out to be in recommendation setting which is there and now we're gonna go ahead and install our two one quarter bit screws it's pretty much done If this video helped you in any way, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future videos. Thanks for watching.